episode 5. Previously on The Walking Dead. Okay. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? You're right. I owe her. Mm -hmm. Somehow I gotta make it right. <laughs> Clementine. <laughs> This is you make the stories tell us about how you play. Ah, oh, gosh. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back, and nobody needs to get hurt. Please. Are, are you all right? Where are you, Vernon? You son of a bitch. Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon, and you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you, I'd choose my next word very carefully. <laughs> okay. You're fucking dead! I don't know who you are, but I will kill you! Do you understand? I know you will. <laughs> she knows you will. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <gasps> no! Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Fine. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets here. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. We'll try to find another way out of here. And they dug some secret tunnels or something. Just some surgical supplies.
Okay. <laughs> I'll have these doors open in two seconds. One, two. That was two seconds, please. You lied. Oh no. Please, please, Lee. No, um, no, Lee, Lee, please. No, no, no. Thank you, no. about trying to save him at the very least buy him some time do we have to cut it off though do we know it works we don't know anything is there gonna be a lot of blood there's gonna be a shitload of blood what if he dies um <laughs> then the rest of us go after clementine and get the hell out of savannah damn right let's do what? this let's do it. if there's a chance it stops you from turning we have to take it let's do it Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Cut it? <laughs> this is going to Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously. Yeah. It was easier when I thought he was out. Really? Oh, Jesus. Fine. <laughs> I'll go as fast as I can. Fast would be good. Look. <laughs> Try to stay still! <laughs> I know! Travel. You lost some blood. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. Quiet as possible and 
see if we can make it to an empty floor, or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Keep going. We do now. Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. to run out of doctors. Uh. It's an extension ladder. She walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. Oh. See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. <laughs> if we get over to that bell tower. We might have some impact on all those walkers out there. But then we just run through the streets? I, I don't know. What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. <laughs> need to get off this roof. You know what? Why? You still want to die? <laughs> I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. comes down to it. If it's just you and Clementine for some reason, I think you'll have plenty of reason to want to live. Don't talk like that. The way things have been going, I don't have any choice, Ben. You came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't. Kenny. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. <laughs> Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. <laughs> that looks like Crawford Square over there. Oh. Okay. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh... 
Uh, it's taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. What's going on? That's just... everything. Fuck, man. You know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are, right now, and I can't imagine Cat and Duck and all this mess. Kid. No. No, I I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's, it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. There's a bell tower over there. We know what those do. Yeah. Could be part of how we get through the streets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any thoughts about anything else? Nah, I'm all right. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. No! <laughs> get back. the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. Mm. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Yeah, let's talk to old me. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. No. <laughs> hey. I think you're Clem's favorite. You know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I got oh. you. <laughs> How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> no way. It's higher than this roof, for starters. Okay, my bad, Lee. I'm sorry. Get back. Thank you. So, I'm guessing... Actually, no. Get this letter. Oh. Whoa, you need some help with that? <laughs> yes, please. I got it. Really? <laughs> Go walk through. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. Yeah, Ben will do it. <laughs> if we have to decide who takes a risk okay. like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Okay, Lee. Well, 
Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up. I don't know how Lee's doing this. Oh my gosh. This is... Okay. Bullshit. Of course, of course. Ah! Holy well, shit, that's man. one down. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit. Try to find another way out of there. Way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. Um. <laughs> uh huh. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. <sighs> you got this. Got this, motherfucker. <laughs> that wasn't a funny. One. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yay! <laughs> Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Was that necessarily? I'm sorry, but like, you could have like punched it. <laughs> I'm joking. Let me stop, Lee. Do whatever you want to do. You're bitten. Holy... What the fuck? Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck! How could this happen? This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys, Lee's right. It was Vernon in that support group. No fucking way! And he left the, the letter. Invalids? Their actions, uh... <laughs> Contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who have been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make a wish was a fucking boat ride. Oh, when I sorry. find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out. We'll never find them. Fuck them. Cancer, no cancer. Saint Sinner, who gives a shit? The people who knew what they were doing. Yeah, screwing us. He says he feels bad about leaving Clementine behind, but the boat was an opportunity they couldn't pass up. Vernon probably planned this out the second he laid eyes on that boat. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. No. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Get over it! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Uh, Nothing has changed? I mean, immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. Whoa. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. <laughs> what do we do without a boat? 
Get to the countryside. Dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Ooh. Whoa, Ben. Whoa, Ben. No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead. No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Whoa, chills. Okay, Ben. I. Oh my God. Oh shit! Here they come. In the house. I'm glad Ben stood up for They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can uh, secure this place. Krista. Uh, weapons. Search the house for weapons. On it. Kimmy. Uh, move. move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Uh, okay. Ben. Kill anything that gets in. You know you're talking to me, right? Listen. Ben, just do it. Omi! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. Um. <laughs> sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Oh, isn't that, um, Breeze, right? Uh, yeah, Breeze. <laughs> okay. Guys, help me with this. Go, go, go. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's good. <laughs> Now, this will slow him down. We'll get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Ooh, I like we this. <laughs> the trap. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three, five, four, two. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. I'm not gonna take this one. I'm gonna wait. Okay. Dropped it down there. Thank you. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. 
Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third. Industrial... Oh, Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm <laughs> back off, I'm fine. I'm okay. Don't. Me. She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it! We're trapped in here! Do you think that worked? I... I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Oh my Who's god. Larry? It don't matter. We don't talk about Larry. He looks fine to me. Guys, I don't know what uh, happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. Uh, sorry. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! What? <laughs> what? I... I... Oh, okay. You ruined that dude's face. <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. <laughs> It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. <laughs> this wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? <laughs> yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. Glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. <laughs> if you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey. And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg. I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. <laughs> oh, I still got this one. I can put my right palm on your forehead and just let you swing away. <laughs> Fine. You win, jerk. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone, too. 
What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? <sighs> make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. World's got enough of it. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. Ah, you know, both of them. I'm sorry, Kenny. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista. <laughs> Figure himself out. We uh, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. The kid killed his family, so there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during a raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. They used him. Kenny's wife died because of their son. Jesus. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, hon. You can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? <laughs> Still feels pretty recently chopped. So no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. It's just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. <laughs> he wants to take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. The aforementioned Larry fella? See, Lee and I got trapped in a fucking meat locker with him. He had a heart attack, so there's this guy who, I should say, was built like a brick shithouse. And we're terrified he's gonna come back and eat all of us. What did you do? We were resourceful. Larry didn't make it out. No, he did not. We did, though. <laughs> I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kenny. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I... Can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. You know what? You know what? Let's do it! I was too excited. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> His face like, okay, calm down. I'm through. No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Keep moving. Let's keep moving. I've gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. You did everything you could. No, Lee. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. <sighs> so let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. Yes, Kenny. We should move. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Okay, so... Uh, what was it? I've heard there's like an Easter egg or something. If you keep talking, talking. Don't ask me how I'm doing. To Let's just Kenny? keep going. Talking to Kitty. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Don't ask me how I'm doing. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Oh my gosh. Okay, because I don't want to do this and then be like super wrong. On yeah. Okay. Randy Tudor, good man, damn fine man, powerful stash. One of the greats. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Um, okay. Judging by the decor of this room, I'd guess they were PBS watchers. Uh -huh. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. <laughs> Just saying. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. What do you call this thing? <laughs> Art? His face was like, no. You still with us, Ben? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. Okay, on the way out, it's this door. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, no, Ben, please, please don't fall. Ben! 
of course. Too obvious. Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Stay up here. Keep an eye out. Okay, but I can't see much from up here. Just let us know if they start coming down the alley. We'll be back. Be careful. Ow! Oh. I'm okay! I'm okay. Just get me out of here. Shh, quiet, Ben, or they'll be on top of us. Yeah, try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry, just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Oh, okay. Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. Ben, sweetie, I'm, okay. I'm sorry. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh. Oh. Mm. Just yank him off that thing. What? Fast, like a band-aid. Do you think... Oh, God. Oh. Fuck! Oh God, don't let them get to me. Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny. This is not a discussion. Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! What the fuck? Lee! <laughs> Lee, Lee, it's okay. No, kid. No, it's not! It's just something I gotta do. You know that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Me! Damn it, yeah. Kenny! Ah. Ah, damn it! Oh, fuck! Ah. Kenny, please! Did he shoot Ben? Yeah, okay. Heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid.
you saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. Well, maybe you did get away. I don't know. Keep hope alive. I don't know. You never know. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. He could be tough to like, but I agreed with him most of the time. So, we were assholes together, I guess. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, it means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. What's going on? I, uh, I just saw your friends get killed. I mean before. Back at the attic. It's nothing. What's nothing? Let's just keep moving. Actually, I, I, I don't know what it, what it <laughs> I thought the trick was to not look down. I don't want to look down. Okay, that was nothing. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where the next meal is. Hmm, <laughs> that's a thing to say. That's a thing to say. I... I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. It doesn't look like a death trap. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Morning. Just go nice and slow. Okay, I'll meet. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good.
Huh, can you help me? Um... Fuck it. I'm going for it! Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. <sighs> Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there. Okay. How did he know exactly which room to go to? <laughs> Got us adjoining rooms. Um, okay. Look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Okay. Creep? Go over there. No. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Mm, sweetie. Your things. There. <laughs> uh, I don't have anything on me. Really? You got all the way here without any weapons. Lost them. <laughs> I don't believe you. Seriously. You don't believe me? Go ahead. Search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just <laughs> sit down. Do you know who I am? No. Yeah. I know. 
know who you are. You saw my car, out front then. Do you see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. I did take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Oh my gosh! Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? I refuse to answer these. <sighs> Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, you are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back and all our stuff was gone. I honestly do not care. Your Please give me Clementine back. I need Clementine. Please, thank you. <laughs> his stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. It's not my fault. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Yes. If you <laughs> You just wait. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! I had to think for a second. I didn't know what he was talking about. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Um, no. <laughs> I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others, for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But her birthday was six days ago. Uh, okay. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. 
keeping her with you is crazy. I'm bitten. <laughs> what? I got bit, and I'm gonna make sure you end up the same way as me. I, uh... Make sure you shoot me in the head. <laughs> no. I'll be with her and you'll be rotting in the streets. Are you sure about that? Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. Ooh, 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 ooh! Clementine! Clementine! <laughs> okay, let me stop screaming. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Oh, Isn't light. it? Let's get the light. Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> By a one-armed man. What? I thought it was over. Son of a bitch! Just go away! Die! <gasps> Clementine! Let's go! Gosh, Clem. You so proud arms, of you. Gun. Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Oh. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Oh, Clementine! Which way out? Through there. The same way you came in, Lee. <laughs> So we'll get out of Savannah. 
Oh. <laughs> you might want to pinch your nose. Oh no. <laughs> Get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. <laughs> Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. Missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, come. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around and don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Oh gosh. Was that thunder? And now Lee, Lee, Lee! Clement. 
time, honey. My arm is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was spit clear. Please, no, no. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. I, I think there might be a way out over there. Good, good girl. Let's go. Might be a little slow. I'll help you. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You couldn't have known. I should have told you. It was scary at the hotel. Yeah. Keep going. We're almost there. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. <sighs> I can't. You have to. Them. I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. Oh my gosh. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I I can't leave you. Just work on getting out, okay? Oh, we'll figure it my all gosh. out. Don't worry. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. We're doing good. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. <laughs> Not with your hand. There's a chair over there. There's a chair over there. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Really 
good. Uh, Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, I'm safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. We have to deal with it. He's trapped over there. Be careful. You can get what you need from it. The keys. And then the gun. Yeah. The keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. Kill it! You have to kill it! Watch out! Ew, I felt it. Yes, Clem! You have to shoot me. You have to shoot me, honey. I'm sorry. No. It's okay. It's okay. It's for your safety, Clem. If you don't get out in time. But I can wait until then. No, honey. You can't. You can't risk it. It, it is. It is like Larry, huh? I know you did it to protect me. Yes. You just have to do it. It'll be okay. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Haley. I can do it. I I can. I'll meet him. Fine, don't meet it, Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? Yes. Okay. Good. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> And Clem. Uh. You can always keep moving. You're gonna want to find some place like the motor inn, but that's just not safe. Why not? Those places are just targets. Move as much as you can. And also. <sighs> Why 
What? What is it? No, don't worry. All right. I wish there was a I love you button, but... I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Me too. Okay, um, 62% of players remove Lee's arm, 65% of players lost your temper with Kenny, 80% kept your weapons, 65% of players didn't kill the stranger, 60% of players made sure Lee didn't turn. Okay, you voted to throw Ben out of the group. You asked Ben to help you find Clementine. Ben fell to his death in the Savannah alleyway. You trusted her with your past. You saved her life at the cost of another. She was killed by Lily. Ugh. You agreed with her to tell others about your past. You helped her get onto the train. You revealed your bite to her. You told her and Omid to meet you at the train. You asked her to... What? You asked her and Omid to take care of Clementine. You were with him when you found your brother. He died when walkers attacked the drugstore. Dog, oh my gosh. You helped save his life at Hershey's farm. You argued that he was not bitten back in Macon. You shot him before he could turn. You let, you let him be your sidekick. You let him be your sidekick solve a mystery. Oh gosh, Ducky. You defended his son in the drugstore, of course. You talked him down from ignoring his son's fate. You killed his son so he didn't have to. He was lost to the herd trying to save Ben. You attempt to give her, you attempt to give her, oh, food at the motor inn. You found water for Duck when he needed it. She shot herself in face of her son's death. Larry, I don't care, call you a racist, blah, blah, blah. You called her, <laughs> ah, Omid, you were separated after you crossed the sign. I'll tell you one thing for Omid. Oh, okay. I'm going to go cry now. Actually, I I heard there's a end credit. Okay, I heard there's like an end credit. So, so find a mountain path um, on down the hill. Yeah, I'm just going to take my mic out and cry a little while Meet the credit plays. Where the snow melt. Clemmy, Clem, Clem, Clem. Omid <laughs> and Krista?
Okay, well, that was The Walking Dead. Um, I'm going to end this stream here. I don't even know if I'm going to do um, 400 days today. But yeah, um, I'm still sad about Lee. But it's whatever. We have Climmy Clue, Clim 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 now. So, yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs>